This is Chase from East Coast Gear Supply here to talk to you about our new 40 spline kit. Uh, it's a full float kit with bolt in axle shafts, uh, new 4340 chromoly spindle, and forged wheel hub. So, what we wanted to do is create a 40 spline kit that was fully engineered, fully designed for the rigors of what people are putting axles through today. And we've come, you know, over the last few months to realize that. 35 spline isn't strong enough for most people. You know, the 43 stickies and high horsepower motors in the Ultra 4 and the Rock Bouncer series, 40 spline has now become the minimum. What we've seen in the marketplace thus far doesn't exactly cover all the bases. And so that was what we were trying to do. How do we create a spindle and wheel hub with brake kits that works for many different applications? So the first thing we did was come up with a spindle design that was big enough to fit the 40 spline shaft. Um, this is our three and a half 40 spline spindle. And you'll notice that this OD here is three and a half inches. So the transition from spindle to tube is a clean transition. Lay your weld in here on the bevel. And if you'll notice how big the ID of this is. So when we designed this, we had to come up with a much bigger OD, but we also didn't want to sacrifice the wall thickness. And so what we had to do was, you know, greatly increase the OD of the spindle. Because of that, we also had to redesign the hub to go on the spindle. Uh, so this is the three and a half. This is our four inch one. You'll notice again, the OD here is for a smooth transition to four inch. A lot of the new housings that we're building are four inch for the added strength. This spindle, um, compared to a stock or aftermarket 14 bolt spindle, is, as you can see, significantly different. This uh, 14 bolt spindle will yield at about 20,000 pounds, and our new 40 spine spindle will yield at 80,000 pounds. Uh, one thing that we looked at uh, because the spindle was so strong uh, that in FEA analysis, the wheel hub was actually blowing apart at about 65,000 pounds. So we increased our bearing separation and really looked to balance the whole system. Um, and so both wheel hub and spindle, you can put 80,000 pounds of stress to before a failure. If you look at the bearings, this is a uh, 14 bolt wheel bearing inner, and this is our new 40 spline bearing. The outer bearings, you can see there's a large size difference there as well. Uh, that's about a 40% increase in bearing loads. And then here we have a 35 spline shaft, and then our new 40 spline shaft. If you look at the 40 spline shaft, there's an additional set of holes here, and these are dowel holes. So our wheel hubs are doweled for the bolt-in shaft, and you can see the dowels here. So the shaft will actually press onto these dowels and then be bolted in for additional shear strength. Uh, the wheel hub is a forged steel wheel hub. It is not cast, it's forged. Um, and we still have been able to maintain to get your standard eight on six and a half wheel on it. And there was a lot of design that went into the wheel hub so that it would fit a lot of different applications. Um, this is the eight on six and a half wheel hub, uh, but we also did it in eight on 170. And on the back side, we went ahead and machined in uh, a 52 tooth tone ring, which would be for your JK and then, or JL. And then on the eight on 170, we did the Ford 62. So some guys are using the 05 Plus Super Duty front uh, that has a 60 tooth tone ring. You could buy this wheel end kit and keep the 60 tooth or 52 tooth, however you want to do it. Um, it's available. So if you look at, um, this is our brake uh, backing plate flange and we have the provision for uh, the tone ring for all the popular applications. So you can build a 40 spline axle uh, that is e-brake compatible, it's ABS compatible, and 
shear load 80,000 pounds, which is pretty impressive. The other thing we did uh, was the pilot on the back side of the wheel hub. This will take the cheap 14 volt disc brake kit uh, that a lot of different vendors sell. So you can do the rotor on the back side of the wheel hub for a cheaper brake kit, or you can do our hat rotor that has the e-brake uh, built into it. And that's a lot of what we do. So we created something that's e-brake compatible, ABS compatible, and it's also ready for you know your hardcore off-road guys. Over here is the Dana 80, which we can build 40 spun. So this got uh, you know a full bracket kit on it. It's ABS compatible and it has full e-brake compatibility. Over here is more of the, the buggy axle, uh, 14 bolt, fully shaved. You've got the 10 inch ring gear in there. Uh, this is the ultimate in ground clearance. You've got your four inch tube, and this has our big brake kit on it as well, but you can do a cheaper brake kit. Uh, so there'll be some more information on our website. We'll have a full PDF article explaining some of the differences. Um, but we really thought that the market needed something that was bigger and better, and we couldn't find a way to make that without completely redesigning it. So we've been working on it for about a year and a half, and we did these in large runs. So we purchased wheel hubs and spindles in excess of 200 at a time to bring the cost down. So I think you'll be real surprised at what the cost will be for this kit. A lot of the 40 spline kits on the market now require you to run the double spline shafts, which you have to buy double spline shafts and the drive flanges, and the costs start to add up. With this, you buy spindle, wheel hub, and the shaft is a bolt-in shaft. Because we did large numbers of these, um, you know, we did uh, long splines on them, six inches of spline. So these are stocked items. If there ever was a failure, you call us, we can ship you a shaft. Uh, we tried to take the custom aspect out of 40 splines. So these are off the shelf parts, ready to ship. And if you want to turn key axle, we can also do that. Thanks for listening.